Uh, I think something is following me. You know what it is? This thing. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Let me introduce to you my friend, Miss Day. Uh, from the moment I have the consciousness about the world until now, it's always follow me in every step. And especially whenever I have done something wrong, wrong in life, and I used to hate this so much because it bring me the feeling of embarrassment, loss, and pain. However, I have to admit that mistakes play an important role in my life. And it's helped me a lot in shaping me, the person who's standing right here and right now. And I'm pretty sure that some of you here may don't like this. Why? There's a research which I found very interesting explain that because People don't think about their mistake rationally. Instead, they think about it emotionally. Like, mistake make people feel stupid. And stupid is just a feeling, an emotion, right? And our natural response is to avoid it. Uh, for example, if I say something embarrassing, I hide my face. And if I had a bad grade in school, I hide the test away. Mm, however, that is the worst move to make if you ever want to get better. And I keep asking myself, like, okay, why me and some, some of the people so scared of making mistakes? Like, the causes come from what? To answer that question, I only need one word, which is judgment. Okay, judgment is... Um, the judgment comes from surrounding factor like school, teacher, friends, and family. And... To me, and for me, um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, come from surrounding factor. Let's take example in school. Here, okay, this is the data of a survey uh, of students raise hand and speak up in class from low grade to higher grade one. In China, we can observe that the percentage of students Raise hand and speak up in class gradually decrease, especially a higher grade student compared to the lower grade one. Because when we grow up, we realize, we are aware that mistakes are something which is not good. And so we don't want to encounter it. And that gradu gradually become a habit and it's followed follow, and it's follow us until now. Back in 2023, last year, I had a very terrible memory that I don't want to remember. For the first time in my university life, I fell a course in school. And I couldn't accept this. How can I tell this to my friend, my family, and especially my mom? And if anyone here already experienced this, I feel you. And at that time, I do one thing to make me feel better, to like protect myself is I blame. I make excuses. Uh, I, tell my, I tell my mom like, okay, because the courses were too difficult, the teacher were too strict, I didn't understand the lesson very well, blah, blah, blah. I blame a lot. And because, because I was too scared and shocked, so the only thing I need is the sympathy from my mom. But you know what my mom replied? I think she's here today. She said, stop blaming. I don't care. You fell, and what is your next step? It's pretty hurts, but she right. Instead of thinking the solutions, the next step, I keep stuck in the chaotic thought and try to make excuses. And therefore, today, I bring to you four things, and I hope that it will help you to overcome when you encounter a mistake. By, uh, based on my personal experience. And the first thing you need to do is to admit. I know that for some people, even me, it's very hard to admit a mistake. But it's your fault, right? If it's your fault, you need to be responsible for it. Okay, I admit that that is my fault, and that's the very first thing you need to do. And the second thing you can do is share. Again, for some people, they don't want to share their mistakes about their mistake, especially when it's come to judgment and criticism. But sharing and talking with others can be the best way to process and navigate your emotions. Just share it to your friends, share it to your family, to the people that you believe, because they will listen to you and push you up. That is the reason why friends and family exist. They always be there for you, so just feel free 
to share. And after feeling, uh, when you already feel better after sharing, let's come to the third one, which is reflect. Yes, Re to me, reflect reflection is like an emotional tracker, and it's helped me a lot in recall what I have did, what what I have done wrong, so that I never commit the mistake ever again. And one of the way I usually do to reflect is self questioning. Like it's like you sit by yourself alone and thinking about what about your mistake and keep asking yourself questions like what happened how do i feel right now uh what why i did that can i fix that just keep asking yourself question and answer and it's even better if you can write all of it down take a pen and a notebook because a researcher said that writing can be served as a calming and meditative tool and uh, it activates a different part of your brain and it can help you process what is coming up rather than repressing. Like, for, simply, when you make a mistake, your mind is like a mess. And so that reflection will help you organize your mind again. And when your mind is tidy, appropriate decisions will be made. And the last one is feel free, just feel free to make mistakes. Like, you have a whole life in front of you, right? Just feel, just see mistake and normal thing happen, will happen in your life. And to me, I see mistake like my friend and sometimes it's come and hurt me. So what should I do? I ignore it? No, don't do that. Just mistake, just trying to alarm you, to help you recognize and aware of what, of what you did wrong. So that it can raise your cognitive ability. And for us, we, we need to open our arm and embrace all the mistake. Hug us like your friend and forgiving, learning, cha uh, and challenging yourself more. I have a friend. I have my best friend. She's not here today, but she used to say this to me, and I still remember it until now. Like I always use this sentence whenever I to encourage and motivate me. Whenever I fail, I make a wrong decision, I always say to myself like, oh, okay, it's okay, because at least I try. I'm not avoid. I learn a lot from it, and next time I will do it even better. If you can do that, your life will become extraordinary, guys. Thank you.